Hello, everybody. I'm Beth Parnin with Fun with We're going to do a little gentle workout today. Uh, if you have a, need a second, please grab a chair and some weights if you have them. And if you don't have any, we, you can use two bottles of water or two cans of soup. Anything that will give you a little bit of resistance. And it's always a good idea to have some water handy, especially if it's going to be a warm day when you are working out. So let's just warm up here and we will get to work. Remember to listen to your body and do what you can. If something bothers you, make sure that you take it down a notch or adapt to something else. Roll those arms in and out. Good job. Just be nice and easy with it. Have fun with it. Feel good about moving your body around. It's time to get ourselves back in the groove, the weather stabilizing. Cross over and over. Now let's drop it down a little more so we can pull the shoulder more across the front of us. And taking both arms, again with the shoulders down, step it across, and hold, keep it across. Here you go, as if you want to try and hammer something. Bring it across, you, over, and over, and over. Back to relaxing, here, and let's go. And press over and press. Move it. And let's go right back to where we started. Lift. Press it. Now take it up and lift. Press. And right to the front now. Punch. And punch. Cross. Cross it. Punch forward, forward. Now we're going to give it a little hook. Ready? Hook under and under. Hook it, press it, move it under, and take it across you. Now, cut, cut. Be nice and strong. Work across. Try to keep your shoulders down. Back to hooking right, under. Go. That's it. Now hold it, lift it over, up and over, press it, keep your wrist right over your elbow. Move it here, open it in and out. Ready for the other side, and here you go. Up, over, and over, press, move. Remember, do what you can. Up, over. Now just take a break. Dangle those arms, three twist, and twist. Now, step it out, and bring it right back in. And forward, back, forward, back. Just step, go back where you started. Now, use your arms a little more. Breathe out, press it. Put as much effort into it as you can and press. Move it. Good. Press. Now try to give it a little hop. Hop it. If you can. The more effort, the more your heart will benefit. Press and press. Ready? Change to your other foot. Start slow and then. Gradually increase your effort. That's it. And press it. That's it. Keep your arms going. Now move it. And reach. Go. And go. Back to march in place. Two steps. Ready? One and two. Step together, step, touch, go. Oh, step and push. Reach. 
punch it out, reach it, punch across, press across, move over. There you go. Now lift it and up and reach. Press it high. Get right up to where the ceiling and wall meet it. You can punch it up there. So now take it down. Reach, press, out, left, set, one, and now forward, one, two, three, four, back, two, three, four, one, two, three, that's it, just take a walk and go back to where you started, arms don't forget, that's it, this will be your last set as you march. Keep going. Keep going. With a little kick here and here. Move it out. Slide those feet out right in front of you. Press out and out. Now turn your toe in. Up. Top. Stop it. Twist, twist, and around. Back to how we started with the kick. Reach. And lift up and up. Nice and gentle, but with a little intention getting higher every time. There you go. When you get tired, just take it down to a march. It's better if you don't just stop and you take down to a march, kick, kick, nice, move, kick, and cross, kick, reach, press, bring your arms with you, and march. Touch, touch, in the back. You want to work for your hamstrings, press it up and use your arms. Pull up, pull that heel towards your lower back, press it, lift it, and move it. Now let's just put out to the side, kick out, move it, out, press, kick, back to your heels. There you go, lift them. Move them up, lift, and to the side, kick, out, reach, press out, move it out, and march. Nice work. <laughs> and step open, and one to here, press, push. Now lift one heel, fall all your weight right over that heel, let those legs carry you, press it, and move it, and press, take it over. Now we're just going to switch sides, lift that heel, press, and lift it up, working through the arch, press, and up. And lift and move it. And just hold, circle through your ankles. Get it all the way around, just circle it. Get that fluidity throughout the body. Now reverse it. Press it around, circle through and around, and hold. Slide in and in and stretch. Reach. Each time, try to go just a little farther, but keep your back nice and straight. Press it here, and now just reach out. See if you can push more with your wrist, and reach to the side of your room. Press it out there, and out. Ready, changing sides, and let's go. Press over, and press over, Press it to the side, 
Nice. Shoulders back. And here we go to the side. Reach up. Press it up. Try to have your shoulder and wrist level. Press it nice. Work here. And reach. And put down. Just shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. And grab yourself a chair. Grab one. If you need a second, go get one. Nice straight back. And just march it out. Press it out. Move it to the side. Up and down and up and down. And hold. Come to the side with one hand on and kick out. And you're going directly to the side. So you work into the hip here. Keep your shoulders down and your back nice and straight. Try to keep your foot forward as much as you can. Press out and reach out. Now let's turn your foot in and pulse it out. So basically what you're doing is pushing out through the ankle. Press, push, move it to the side and you're gonna set it down and take a little walk to the other side. Give this standing leg a little change of pace for a minute. Now, right to the side with your other one. Good. Rest it out. And lift. Reach out. Press. Out. And reach out. And hold it out with your foot turned right in towards your other arch. I hope you've been having some fun times while you have been at home. Maybe you could be working on a hobby, getting some reading done, maybe some projects done you've been wanting to do. It's a time to look at old photos, maybe. Think of all those, listen to some music and think of all those good memories. Press it out and take it down. Shake it out and take a walk again right back to the other side. Point your leg right to the side and come across. This is so good for your inner thighs. Come across, press it across, and out. Come across and out. Press. You can get a hold of me at Fun With Fit at sbcglobal.net and I would love to hear about some of the things you have been doing. Or you can email me if you have any questions. Now, you want to hold your foot here with a flexed foot and lead right with that arch. So you are contracting at the top of your thighs. Press it here, move it across. Press it across, nice work. Now you're gonna take a walk right back to the other side. Let's go. We'll get a little break, break on that standing leg. So again, you're gonna come right out to the side and cut across and across. Press it across, that's it. This should feel good. Three move. And over. And press. And press out. And press out. Good. Now get ready to get your foot flexed and contract your upper thighs. Press it across. Move it across. Make it back. Hold. Press. Move it. Nice. Work. Four, three, two, and one. Set it down, shake yourself out a little bit, and let's go back to our starting side. Holding on for balance, you want to lift and circle. Press it out and around. Lift up and circle. Take it as high as you can. Maybe start low, and then try to come a little higher each time. Real good for your hips, for flexibility, for range of motion, 
all the things that tighten up in a hurry if we don't move them. That's it. Let's do two more. Here's one. And two. That's it. Let's get on over to the other side. Ready? Here we go. Lift it up. Start low. And lift up. Each time. See how much you can increase that range of motion. It's your effort that counts. Lift it and press it around and around. Two and one. Shake it out and hold on to the back of your chair. Let's stretch those legs out. You want to reach back with your toes, press your foot down, heel down, and try to have that back foot straight. And then bend your front knee. Go back and lift it in. Take it back. Nice. There we go. Yeah. Lift that foot back there. Put the other one with it. And then sit down and stretch. Try to have a nice straight back. Good. Excellent work for the hips and legs. Take one second and grab what you want to use as weights. Grab your weights if you have them, or grab two water bottles. They work perfectly. Or you can use two soup cans. Anything that's going to give you a little resistance. So why don't we sit down and get ourselves ready to do some resistance work, which is so important for keeping our bones strong. So take what you're using as weights, one in each hand, arms right to your side, and just let's do some bicep curls. Press it up and lift. See how your upper arms are nice into your body and your feet are away from the chair a little bit. So you're not sitting like this, cutting off that circulation. You want to help your body as much as you can. Press it up and down. Good. Let's do four more. Here's four. And three. And two. And one. Let's come up and cross again, but bring the opposite arm in front every time. You get equal work to each side. Roll it up and cross over. And don't forget to get a drink of water if you need it. And on these warmer days, please drink more water every day. If you start to feel thirsty, you are already becoming a bit dehydrated. Here we go. One and two. Drop it down. Roll your arms and shoulders forward. Again, leaving your arms right at your side. Do a forearm lift. That's it. Pull right up. Keeping those upper arms close to the trunk of your body. Lift up and press here and lift and press up and lift and press. Now we're going to twist at the top and twist at the top. Press twist and press it up and pull it all the way around and lift and press. Good. Pull it up. There you go. Full range of motion here. Lift it and press it down and up. And hold here. There you go. Now you're going to come to shoulder height only. Lift up and press up. So try and come right out over your thigh and your knee. Get right out over that knee. And press up and lift. And press and lift. Reach here and here and one more on the other side. Good. 
Now bring it all the way up, come right by your ear, stretch and lift and lift and lift. Bring it down. Take your time. Go all the way up, lift, lift, and lift. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to go right back where we were, and we're going to leave our elbow right there and come down right in front of your focus. This is for your triceps. Take it down and extend high. Press up and lift. See if you can lift your ribs with you so that you can get a tiny bit higher. Put a little more of yourself right into it. And then press it up and take it down right to your side and get ready for the other side. Skim the ear and go all the way up to a perfect position and then bring it down and lift. There you go. Press up and lift. Just be careful not to hit your teeth or your mouth. And lift. And reach up and lift. Come on, reach higher. Lift and higher and higher. One more and bring it down. Excellent. Now we're going to go right back up on the other side and we're going to reach behind your head here. Want to reach back and lift. See how you're keeping your arm right by your ear, near your head. And again, try it in both your shoulders and your ribs. So good for the underarm. Press it down and lift and reach up. Two more. Here's one and two. And let's switch over now. Take it up and reach back. Lift up and lift up. Press. Nice work. Try and do a little something for each part of the body. Just to keep everything moving and grooving. Press it up and lift. And two more. Here you go with one and two. Excellent. Now let's just take a little break and relax your shoulders for a second. That's it. Reach it around. And around. Now put one weight on the leg, either leg, and extend the other one out. And you're going to hinge forward and reach with that weight and pull up and back. Again, for your tricep, see how you keep your elbow close to your body and lift up and back. You want to breathe out as you come forward. Ready? Breathe out. Breathe in and get that arm up there. Tighten it up and work it. Nice. Lift it. Get it up. Ready? Two more. There's one and two. Set her in and then start extending the other leg. Yeah. Ready? Here we go. Up and down. And lift it. Nice work keeping that arm close to you. Nice work putting effort into it. Press it in. And lift. And up. And press. These are fine to do with no weights at all if you don't have any or feel more comfortable not using them. So feel free to go through all these with or without weights. The more resistance you do have, the better it will be strengthening your bone. Good. Two more. Here's one and two. Now let's put both weights on one leg and breathe out as you lift. And as long as your other arm is free, let's punch out. Lift it. Breathe out now. And breathe out. And lift. When you're lifting, try and keep that heel right under your knee. Press it out. We want to protect our backs and our knees all the time. Press it. Breathe out. And breathe out. Now just hold here. Put your hand down. 
and pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. Let's switch over to the other side. Now, get yourself lifting. And now that you're doing that, add your arm. Good. Check your shoulders. Are they down? And breathe out. And breathe out. That's it. Nice work. Can you go a little bit higher? Just try one and see. Lift it. Rest it up. So, lift it. And it's four. And three. And two. Ready to hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. We're going to switch back over to our starting leg. And we're going to take it out. This exercise is really good for sore knees. But you want to flex your foot. Pull your toes toward you. And now let's lift, lift that straight leg with your foot flexed toward you. Now push your heel out towards the center of the room and lift it. Let's breathe out as you lift and get working. Up and down. Now try to go just a tiny bit higher. That's it. The more you lift, the better the workout for the thigh and knee. Press it up. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. Set it down. Switch over now. Get your leg out and your foot flexed. Line the toes up with this part, your large toe with this part right here on your knee. Then you'll have a good safe form. Press it up. Check to make sure you're pushing your energy right out your heel. As you lift, right out into the room. Press it, lift it. Nice work. Okay, I think now you're ready to put more effort into it by going just a little bit higher. Take it up, lift it, press it, move it. Nice work. Here's four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Now take one leg and cross it over the other. If this is difficult for you, work right down here. Because you'll get the same stretch for the hip. And if you can, put your weights, or what you're using as weights, on the inside of your knee. And with your back nice and straight, push down on that easily. Just ease it and release it. And now take a nice breath in and hinge forward. And you want to feel a stretch right at your hip. Take it forward, nice and easy. This is so good for backs. Excellent if your lower back hurts. And take it in, and let's take it down and switch over right to the other side. Put your weights on your knee, and rest down on it just a little bit here. How are you doing with it? Maybe one side is more flexible than the other. That's fine, that means you're normal. Press it. And now let's lean forward, press it in. Nice work. Take it forward and press. It feels so good when this is over. And take it down. Now just slide your hands out your thighs with your fingertips to the ceiling. Keeping your back nice and straight, just flex and lift. Try to get a full range, in, range through the inside of the arm and wrist. Pull those fingertips right toward the inside of your hand, towards your wrist. Press it in, that's it, pull harder, and in. Nice, and over you go to the other side. Just rest your, the inside of your wrist up in front of your knees as comfortably as it is for you to be. And lift up. Now take it high enough to feel it come stretching right up to the forearm. Lift it and press up. 
and lift. Nice work today. A little bit of resistance work, a little bit of low impact, hip work. Good job. Bravo to you for continuing to work on your wellness. And now for your rotators, take it up. They're coming over one knee and then take it, swing it right out over to the other, but try and keep it as level as possible. As if you're wiping off a counter. Press it over and over and take it down. Here we go now, other side. Press it off and around. Pull it here and over. Nice. Last one. And lift up, push them together. Lift up and then open and just soften your elbows and bring it around the front. Bring them in. Let's go all the way up. If you go any higher, try. Arms by your ears, soften your elbows, and come down. And now just let your weights hang like dead weight at your side. Lift your shoulders and roll. Working always towards improving your posture. It helps with your breathing. Press, helps your organs work more efficiently. Press it out and around. Good job. Now just lift, shrug, and drop down. This is so good for that skeletal system. Lift it up and take it down. Good job. Now lean forward on one, bring it one across the front, let it be three of your legs. Circle through. This is so excellent for sore shoulders. Swing it around, nice and easy. Let's reverse it now. You can even do this holding on to a soup can and brace yourself on your kitchen counter if you're not in the middle of fixing dinner. You can get this done in one easy move only because it's so good for shoulder pain and stiffness. Circle it through, press it all the way around, nice. Let it be free. Nice stretching, rotating, and reverse. Take it around. Good job. Check to make sure your back is nice and straight. And relax. Bring your legs together. Put the weights on the end of your knees. And just snap your legs up and down. For your calves for your arches, just snap them and snap them. Good job. Now you're going to take a step out and open your legs and let your ankles fall towards the floor. This should feel real good for stretching through, press it through and relax. And press it through, open it out and Excellent. And now just keeping your feet on the floor, circle out. If you are on carpet, you can get, make them real small so you don't lose your knees. Just take it out and out and out. Good job. Take your weight and just set them on the floor. And take a breath in and lift up. And breathe out, and bring it up, and over. Take it to the center, circle, and circle, and circle, and round. Other side now, lift up, nice stretch. Pull it up and over. Here you go with your circle, and circle, and circle. Hold on to the back of your chair and just lean forward, keeping your head level. Stretch open and breathe. Good job. Take it over one. Stretch here and up and over with a breath out. 
taking it crunch in and crunch out, press it in and out, work it through and out. Hold here, press forward and back and lift up, pushing on them as hard as you can. Take them down, hold here, press in as hard as you can. Excellent. And lift up, reach now, press and reach now. Take it nice and far, reach as far as you can. And out. Take one more nice deep breath in and breathe out and take it down. Very good. You've done a great job today. Hope to see you very soon coming into one of our classes. Have a great day, and I hope to see you very soon. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.